Now, let's take a few minutes to talk about something away from coronavirus because eight inspirational young people from across the UK are being recognised with Rotary Young Citizen Awards. All week here on BBC News, we've been talking to the winners. They are all under the age of 25. They have all been singled out for their outstanding contribution to their community. And I'm pleased to say that today I'm joined by another three winners and they are 14 year old Jessica Frost, who is raising thousands of pounds for charities through singing. 21 year old Luke Millington has raised 60,000 pounds for Hope House Children's Hospice, which he has been using for a decade. We'll find out more about both of those. And also we'll be talking to 16 year old Ikra Khan from Bradford, who has been awarded the Rotary Young Citizen Peacemaker Award. Well, a very good afternoon to all three of you. Really, really lovely to have you with us. Thanks so much for being with us. Let's start in the order we, we introduced to you. So it's no particular order, but Jessica, we heard we heard your name first. So we'll come to you, Jessica Frost. Lovely to speak to you. And Jessica, explain a little bit about your story because essentially you were, how can I summarize this? You were, you were singing before you could speak. Explain more, Jessica. When I was two years old, I was diagnosed with ketotic hypoglycemia, which meant my blood sugar level levels would drop dangerously low. And it kind of, through that, ended up getting like slow development. So I was unable to speak, I couldn't walk until I was two and a half. So, so they taught me how to do stuff like through singing, because they noticed that I could, I did stuff through singing rather than talking. So like I'll talk my colours through singing and it's just like they like recommended it as a hobby and now I'm here doing singing like full time for charities and everything. I mean, that's amazing. So you at that point you were unable to speak, but people around you and teachers noticed that you could pick up a song really easily. And that's remarkable. Let's just hear a, a little bit of you singing, Jessica. <laughs> surprise Jessica that one of the groups you've raised money for is the RAF Benevolent Fund and we could see from all the all the pictures that we're showing to the audience at the moment we could see as well for example that you've sung at Ronnie Scott's the world famous jazz club I'm, I'm envious I love Ronnie Scott's I mean how fantastic so tell us a little bit more about what you do now and and uh, and and what does it mean of course to be given this award well when I found out that I'd won, I was absolutely over the moon. Like I didn't expect it at all. Like when I won it, I was like, oh my God. And like, I was just so thankful to my former music teacher, Miss Cree, for nominating me for it. And then the Leeds Rotary for putting me through to get the national award. It just means so much to me. And like my singing and everything, like Obviously, I love singing, like it's what I do, but sometimes it's just nice to be recognised for the things I do. Absolutely. Well, don't go away, Jessica. I'm going to turn to Luke because another remarkable person. And Luke, you have raised a staggering £60,000. That is a, a huge sum of money. Explain explain what you've been raising it for and why it's why it's something that's very dear to you. Been raising the. Um, I decided to raise the sixty thousand pounds because um, they provided out. Um, Hope House and Children's Hospice provided me with outstanding care and um, support to me and my family over the last um, fourteen years, and I wanted to give something back to the charity that um, would give five more children the the chance of going. Um, to the children's hospice and getting the, the great support and care I received. Because you live with a, a particular condition that means you need extra help. Ex explain to our viewers what that is. I live with a, um, condi a neuromuscular condition called Duchenne muscular dystrophy and it affects my um, movement in my arms. Like I'm in a wheelchair permanently 
and it affects it like my muscles so every muscle is a bit weaker than the average person the average person and um i also um have full-time care with like i need help with personal care getting up um the daily tasks everyone takes for granted I mean, congratulations on raising such an enormous sum of money that's going to help so many other people in your position. And again, to explain some of the pictures that we've been showing our our audience here, um, you have you have a sporting ambition as well. Yeah, and I play in wheelchair football in the um, Muscular Dystrophy UK National League, and I am hope to be able to and um, play in the wheelchair football England squad one day. Fantastic. Well, we cross fingers that you that you manage that. Stay with us, Luke. Thank you. Let's go to Ikra as well, who is in Bradford this afternoon. And congratulations to you, Ikra, for winning this award. I, I, explain what, why you were nominated and, and what this is all about in your case. Um, thank you. Um, I have to say, um, I was nominated by my RD teacher from school, Miss Kali. And I'd have to say, I think the reason I was nominated was just I think because getting involved with a bunch of different things in and around school, I guess with the message for peace. And I think for me, the reason why that was so important to me was just because I guess some of the interactions I had with people. So for example, um, I myself, I'm like a jiu-jitsu coach or a member of the Sporting League program. And if I ever said to people, you know, this is what I do, sometimes they get, you know, funny looks like, what, you? And I feel partially that would be because I've always been quite academic in school, and I guess people would initially assume, you know, because of that, you wouldn't exactly, you know, excel in sports or anything. But I think what adds to that is the fact that I wear a hijab. And I think, for me, it's not exactly great to see that people, you know, can look at you because you wear a hijab or anything that symbolises something to you. And because of that, just think that, you know, you're not careful as much as others. So for me, it's just about how I don't want to just be known as the girl who wears a hijab. I want to be known as the girl who wore hijab and fought for others so I can wear this and be careful of more it shouldn't be anything to restrict me or give me less opportunity than anybody else and 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 so I mean you're a you're a great role model and, and, and I'm sure that's one of the reasons you were nominated um I think it's just with um, things we're doing so for example in um, team theology that was a group that we um set up in school so that was on um Thursdays we'd meet up and to be fair it was initially just set up as a group of students would meet up and it was just because in class, um, we'd cover the curriculum in RE, but you do the, the actual curriculum what was needed. But then um, what we do in the actual team theology meetings on the Thursdays, what that would be, would be going to, I guess, greater depth and covering things you wouldn't typically be able to in the classroom. And from there, I think it just kind of grew in the idea that um, we were covering all this content, but it was just, we wouldn't put it into practice. So we just started delivering the message of peace. So whether that be by holding, you know, community of God, um, delivering Ramadan assemblies in school, um, you know, delivering a talk at the local cathedrals. It's just about, I guess, spreading that message of peace and hopefully, you know, getting people to change their mindset and get on board with that. So I think that was the main ambition. Well, I think all three of you are an inspiration. You're all role models in your own way, and that's just wonderful. And I'm sure in years to come, I'll be speaking to you because of you, you, your other great achievements. So thank you very much indeed. Ikra Khan, Luke Millington, and Jessica Frost, and many congratulations to all of you for your Young Rotary Awards. Really, really fantastic achievements and uh, an enormous amount of money raised for various charities as well. We're very well done to all of them.